Hello everyone, I'm Simon Preston, and welcome to Reggae Boys Commentary. This is the channel where you come to for the hub of everything relating to Jamaican football. So what are we going to discuss this evening? Well, let's go right off the bat, shall we? No fans will be allowed on Jamaica's 24-year anniversary of qualifying for the 1998 FIFA World Cup. Jamaica versus the United States at the National Stadium at 5 o'clock on Tuesday afternoon will not welcome spectators. Just let that sink in. A day that should be used for celebration. A day that should be used to rejoice. A day where Jamaicans should come together, maybe not hold hands, but a day to reminisce of what we did 24 years ago on that exact day. A day which united the country in one of its most hardest periods post-independence with crime, violence, politics. A day in our country where the two political party leaders embraced each other with a hug. A day which according to the Statistical Institute of Jamaica, Jamaica recorded no deaths the first time ever post-independence. The most crime-free day Jamaica ever had, November 16, 1997, the day we drew nil all with Mexico at the National Stadium. And 24 years later, we, fans, Jamaican football stakeholders, will not get the opportunity to celebrate that. Why not? Because, <laughs> well, the government of Jamaica still thinks that it's not safe. Yet you have many countries across this globe, many countries across the globe right now that have more cases than Jamaica on a daily basis. And they're still packing 90,000, 80,000, 50,000 fans inside, spec inside stadiums. Still. Still. Spineless, shocking, embarrassing. There's not enough adjectives to describe that decision. If our government seriously cared about football, then they would know the importance of this campaign and what it means and how it could even benefit them. Because Brand Jamaica is so massive and huge and important and valid. But no. No. They're not like football. No. No. Anyhow is, a, any is, 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 is Olympic trials, our world championship trials. Yeah, man. The gate fly a long time. The gate fly a long time for that. Once it's track and field, yeah, man. The government opened themselves up for that. Yeah, man. Fine. But for a chance where our federation could earn 9 million US dollars, which can not only clear the debt, but enhance the product that we have locally. And the government would be bound to, bound to that as well. Because there's something in it for them as well, because we would have to consult the government for certain contractors and equipment. So certainly the government will be benefiting from that perspective as well. But no. No. We have to wait until January 27, 2022, where fans can witness the Reggae Boys play. And that is against Mexico. Well, the Prime Minister said maybe, but... I believe by January we'll have a million people in Jamaica vaccinated. So mark your calendars, people. January 27, 2022, Jamaica versus Mexico. And mark on your calendar as well, February 2nd, 2022, Jamaica versus Costa Rica. That game will also be at home. And mark on your calendar, March 24, 2022, Jamaica versus El Salvador. And March 30, 2022, Jamaica versus Honduras. At a time where we're picking up momentum, four points from our last two games, finding a bit of rhythm, back-to-back -back clean sheets. Can you imagine if we go and get a result against El Salvador? 
how much enthusiasm there would be for the home game against the United States. That certainly could have been a trigger. The Americans would be coming in here smelling, would be, would be fearful. But no, no fans. And that's something that we're just going to have to. The idea of going to watch the Reggae Boys play before the end of the year. Crush up. And throw it away. Because that is not a reality. The government has given the green light for schoolboy football. And that is good. Mid-November, November 13, I believe. There has been a, a lift in terms of the, the Sunday lockdowns, the Sunday new movements. So this could mean that the Jamaica Premier League could have games on a Sunday, which is good. But our national team, the team that we love and cherish so much, the Reggae Boys, will not be able to have fans. I had the privilege to watch the game against Panama and Canada. And you could, Im can you imagine if we had even a thousand spectators against Canada? I am, I am absolutely sure we would have grinded out a 1-0 victory. I am certain if we had fans, we would have gotten 1-0. The fans would have pushed the ball in the net one way or the other. I am so sure of it. I'm sure about the, the Canada game. We would have won one nil with spectators in the stands. Facts. Facts. But a decision has been made. And it's a decision that we're going to have to accept. So what can we do about it? the 24 year anniversary of our 1998 qualification is just like it's being brushed away this is a day where the fans come together because if it wasn't for the fans we probably wouldn't have gone to france if it wasn't for the fans we wouldn't have kept cl clean sheets in all of our games in the 1998 qualifiers if it wasn't for the fans, we wouldn't have beaten Canada 1-0. wouldn't have beaten Costa Rica 1-0. We wouldn't have beaten El Salvador 1-0. We wouldn't have gotten a point against the United States at home. If it wasn't for the fans, who, who knows? They're such a valuable and vital stakeholder. And if Jamaica is not in Qatar in November next year, it's down to the government.